This is part 2 of Azure Tutorial. To understand Azure better, we need to understand Azure Global Infrastructure specific terms like data centers, regions, region pairs, availability zones, and geographies. In this video, we'll discuss data centers and the rest that is regions, region pairs, availability zones, and geographies in our upcoming videos. So, what are Azure data centers? When we provision a resource from Azure Cloud like a virtual machine or an Azure SQL database, for example, these resources obviously require a physical server space to be created. A data center is simply a building that contains the physical server, not just one server, many, many physical servers which are connected over a network. It also has its own power and cooling. So, in simple terms, an Azure data center is a unique physical building that contains many, many physical servers with its own power, cooling, and networking infrastructure. These data centers are located all over the globe. As of this course recording, there are over 160 plus Azure data centers worldwide. The exact location of these data centers is not published by Microsoft for obvious security reasons. It is these data centers that are the building blocks of global Azure infrastructure. Obviously, to power and maintain all these data centers, a lot of energy is required. Microsoft has been actively researching to source clean energy. So, as part of this initiative, Microsoft has been experimenting placing data centers at the bottom of the ocean. They call this Project Natick. So, in spring 2018, Microsoft's Project Natick team deployed a shipping container sized data center on the seafloor in Scotland. It stayed underwater for almost over two years. And during these two years, the underwater data center servers are extensively tested and monitored for performance and reliability. With this experiment, the team concluded that a sealed data center on the ocean floor could provide ways to improve the overall reliability of data centers. On land, corrosion from oxygen and humidity, temperature fluctuations, and obviously bumps and jostles from people who replace broken components are all variables that contribute to equipment failure. So, if you want to learn more about Microsoft Underwater Data Center, you have more details on the news website news.microsoft.com. We have some really exciting photos here. The underwater data center is being retrieved from the seafloor after two years. You can see a lot of algae and other sea plants grown on the sealed container during the two years while it was underwater. In this photo, you can see a close up of the container. In this one, you can see the Microsoft logo revealed as the container is being power washed. Inside the sealed capsule, you can see several racks of servers. There were actually 12 racks of servers and related cooling infrastructure. They found the servers in the underwater data center were eight times more reliable than those in a replica data center on land. So, the bottom line is Microsoft finds underwater data centers are reliable, practical, and use energy sustainably. Hopefully, we'll soon see underwater data centers. As of this course recording though, all Azure data centers are still on land and it is these data centers that are the building blocks of Azure global infrastructure. In simple terms, an Azure data center is a unique physical building that contains thousands of physical servers with its own power, cooling, and networking infrastructure. These data centers are located all over the globe. As of this course recording, there are over 160 plus Azure data centers. These data centers are organized into Azure regions. We'll discuss Azure regions and their importance in our next video. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.